All right, I'm back on that Vigor from I diagnosed uh, two weeks ago or so, and they just got the new compressor in there, the new receiver dryer. Remember, this was an R12 system getting converted over to 134. They did not go with the new condenser. Uh, there was no debris in this condenser. It was only a leaking compressor. Everything was clean. They blew it out. So they didn't find no metal particles or anything like that. The sight glass on the old one was clean. No problems there. Um, we're down to 273 microns. So we're gonna live with that and fill it up from there. Uh, ND8 oil conversion from mineral to ND8. Remember this is a new compressor. So the new compressor, the old compressor was machined to tolerance for an oil that was a 500 viscosity oil. This is a R134 compressor that's put on here. And the machining of the clearances and the bearings and everything was meant and designed for ND8, what is a 46 viscosity refrigerant oil. So you've got something as nearly as thin as water to something as, thi as thick as your uh, ta table syrup from the mineral oil for your pancakes. Um, so it was actually designed for the thinner oil. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to fill this up. I'll get back to you, show you something. I am not re I'm not taking the high side reading off this one. This had the little tiny 3 16 port. This is not a quarter inch port under there. And I had two adapters left for the old R12 for the 3 16 Don't know where I put them. So not needed anyway. I have the temperature of the refrigerant, so that's close enough for pressure. Pressure, good enough for government work. And the outside ambient temperature in the shop is 59 degrees. And the actual outside temperature in San Francisco, right outside that door out there is 52 degrees. And it has a 30% chance of raining in the next hour. So I'm not gonna be able to put this under any load heavy load for testing out the evaporator or anything like that or the condenser because it has 59 degree air going over it. All right, I'll get back to you after I charge it up.